The 28-year-old CEO of a Bitcoin exchange in Singapore has been found dead. Now, authorities are investigating this case. They are um, thinking that it is a suicide. They're suspecting that it's a suicide. However, it has not been confirmed at this point. Uh, the name of the 28-year-old is Autumn Radke, and she's actually an American that was working in Santa Monica, California. She was uh, very, very knowledgeable about uh, Bitcoin and she decided to go to Singapore and start her own business, a Bitcoin exchange. Um, now, her friends are alleging that her uh, s suspected suicide had absolutely nothing to do with uh, Bitcoin facing some issues. Recently, if you know anything about it, hackers have been stealing Bitcoin currency and uh, large amounts of it. Bitcoin, for those of you who don't know, I should explain what it is. It's a digital currency. Unlike conventional money, it's bought and sold on a peer-to-peer -peer network independent of central control, which is why it's so appealing to so many people. Its value uh, soared last year, and the total worth of Bitcoins is now at about seven billion US dollars. Now, when it comes to the amount of money or the amount of Bitcoins that have been stolen by hackers, there was a loss of 850,000 Bitcoins worth more than uh, 550 million US dollars uh, at today's rates. And then Flexcoin uh, lost about $600,000 worth of the online currency to hacker theft. So uh, libertarians love Bitcoin. They were like, we don't need the stinking government to regulate this. We're going to be fine. Oops. So now I get a lot of heat for that and Bitcoin's wonderful, but the whole time I was thinking, tick tock, tick tock, when is this going to go badly, right? Now in this case with the suicide, we don't know if it's connected or not, but I could just see the conspiracy theories now. Oh, they're going to be, they're already, I'm sure, circulating like crazy. Was it really, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to further them. I have no idea why she committed suicide and whether it was related or not. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know, man. It, there's a reason why you need the government uh, for protection, right? And that's the core job of the government. And in this case, when you don't have that and they steal the money, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we knew more about uh, her situation, but one thing that I can tell you is she had a colleague who actually uh, rented her apartment for a little while, and he was actually the CEO and founder of a Singapore-based uh, company called GoCoin, and he said this wasn't a Bitcoin-related death. She had other things going on in her life. Collectively, there were a lot of small factors. It appears she picked a permanent solution to a lot of short-term problems. Okay. Obviously, we feel bad for her and her family, and... Uh, We'll see what happens next with it, but like I said, my guess is a tremendous amount of conspiracy theories.